Hey everybody, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. You know, I do a lot of tool reviews and um, walkthroughs at the Home Depot and Lowe's and the other stores. And people are always asking me as we look through the OPE equipment, what is your favorite lawnmower? Well, you're looking at it right here, folks. This is my favorite gas lawnmower that I've ever seen, used, or anything. And so this is the Honda, this is from their HRX series. And this is the HRX 217HZA lawnmower. Of course, there's a few things that attracted me to it. Number one, I mean, Honda just makes the best engines in the world. They never fail. They're so easy to start. And then what really attracted me to this particular one here was the fact that we have this electronic ignition here. So let's take a look at that. Now, most lawnmowers, when you look at them, you might see a control over here on the left and then nothing here on the side, on the right side. But here you see you got this big contraption here called the electric start module. This gives you a second method for starting your lawnmower. And so here you can see it runs by a key, which is nice. And all you do is you just turn it to the start position and it starts the mower. Okay, so I took the lid off here to be able to show you the inside of this whole engine electric start mechanism. And basically most of it is this cavity that has these six cells. This is a massive heavy battery. This battery, I just replaced it. It costs $150. And then this is all the electronics here for the ignition start, and it leads down to the engine. The Honda HRX lawnmower has a 21-inch size deck, and it's made out of a plastic called Nexite, and it's guaranteed for life. We've never had a single problem with it. It does not crack or anything or rust. Now, most of you, when you go into the store to buy a lawnmower, you might pay $249, $349. 450 who knows but the hondas as you know are always going to cost more because they do have much better engines in them but this particular lawnmower was such an esoteric model that they don't even sell it in the stores i had to order it from home depot's website and this was 849 dollars the day after tomorrow will be the ninth anniversary of my purchase of this unit so i bought this back in 2012 and it has not given me one ounce of problem and this lawnmower can handle the tallest of grass we're going to show you look we let this grass grow up extra high here just to see how easy this plows through it so let's take a look at how it starts up and everything and how it works change the air filters a breeze it's just right there I'll just give it a little shake out this is actually in pretty clean shape we replaced it not too long ago <clears throat> okay so let's see how it starts you just come here and you turn the key Dude, it cannot get any easier than that, folks. And to turn it off, you just turn off the key like that. Here it is again. Best way in history to start a lawnmower, folks. Yeah, for those of you with bad backs, having to reach way over and pulling these things and you know, on some, on some machines, like with the Briggs & Stratton engines, those are, you're always gonna be trying to pull two or three times to get those to start. You do have to make sure the key ignition is set to on when you go to pull this, but watch, I'll just give it the weakest pull. See? Started right up. Turn it off at the ignition. Let's try it again. I'm gonna try to give it a really limpy, wimpy pull. See? There you can see, folks, what a great job this lawnmower does. So there you can see how easy this lawnmower starts, folks. But hey, you know what? Anybody can start a lawnmower. I want to see how well does this lawnmower do in really deep grass. Okay. So this grass was supposed to be cut three weeks ago. You can see how tall it is. Look at it. They're coming up over the top of the tires and everything. So we're going to go ahead and start this and see how well it does.
So using this lawnmower has just been a joy for the past nine years. And I'll put a link to it down in the video description below for you for their latest model. So you can take a look at a couple of different Honda models there. And uh, the other thing too is, is I have mowed really tall grass with this thing, tall wet grass as well to, you know, as a stress test. And this thing just plows right through it. It never stalls ever. Uh, it just whatever grass you want to put it through, it just keeps going. It's an amazing mower. Okay, now I'm going to show you a really cool feature about this Honda lawnmower that really sold me on it also. Just very few lawnmowers can do this. So let me show you something. I'm going to turn the motor on. Okay. We're walking along. We're mowing the lawn. We see a rock. And we stop. Look at this. I take my hands off the bale handle and notice how the lawnmower is still on. Now the motor's on but the blade is disengaged, see? So I can come over here, move a rock, blah, 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 and come right back without having to restart the lawnmower. I love that. So I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, hey, we'd appreciate it if you would give us a thumbs up down below there. That tells us that you like us. And hey, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you see all of the great world-class content we give you here, hey, make sure you do that. Click on that subscribe button down below there because, you know, look, we do all sorts of great world-class videos for you on tool reviews. So that's why you want to subscribe down below. And when you do that, click that gray bell icon next to it. That tells YouTube to alert you whenever we upload a video because you don't want to miss one of our videos, folks. Well, that's it for this week, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one.